Sup Yoga is really taking the art of your yoga practice onto the water. So we basically kind of slow things down and we're doing yoga on a paddleboard. It's literally one of the most peaceful things. For me, paddleboard yoga is like a vacation in an hour. Game on Paddleboarding, we specialize in renting paddleboards and doing paddleboard classes, teaching people how to paddleboard the proper way, getting them onto the water. So even if you've never paddleboard before or done yoga, it's a super easy way of learning how to do it and also getting involved with nature. It's uh, one of the best experiences you'll have all summer. You can make it as intense as you want to or as relaxing as you want to, that's totally up to you. Either way, you're gonna get all the benefits that include a stronger core, uh, shoulder muscles, leg muscles, arm muscles are all gonna be strengthened as well. Paddling in general is such a core focused exercise. So you add paddleboard yoga into it and you're really focusing on your core full body workout. For me, it is really mental. It's about clearing your mind. Um, obviously focusing on the breath is gonna help with blood flow. This to me is like a refresh, you get a reset. So you're coming out here and really able to kind of notice and create a better awareness about your body. Getting out in the water is the biggest thing that I've seen that we've uh, been able to accomplish with the people who come out of paddleboard is just the mental escape that you get on a paddleboard. And uh, combine that with the exercise part of it and it's really the best exercise around. This is a chance to, you know, go a little bit deeper. So you're out in nature where you're more focused on your breath, you're hearing the natural sounds, you're slowing your practice down. To me, I like it because it's a nice variation. Each lake has its own feel. Your yoga studio can be anywhere. Once you get on a paddleboard and you come back to shore, you're proud of yourself. You've, you've done something that you didn't think that you could do, which is also a very, very good thing for, for everyone. My advice for first time SUP Yoga participants um, is really just to have that beginner's mind. So it's kind of like starting your practice again. If you fall off, it's really not a big deal. It's actually learning how to get out of the water to get back up. The best part about that is you're actually going to have more courage to try more poses. Don't be nervous. A lot of people have the fear that they can't do it, uh, but you can do it. And we've had people that come out and say, I can't do it, but we will teach you how to do it and you'll be happy that you did it. We're really starting with the paddling, starting from the foundation, from the feet up. Just, just push yourself to come and try it. Um, trying something new, something fun, something safe, something, something that gets you out here with the nature and with other people. There's nothing cooler than seeing someone come out here that maybe is a little apprehensive of getting out on the water, trying paddleboard yoga, and you know, getting out of their comfort zone, and then slowly help them build their confidence. And then by the end, it's hard getting them off the water. When you find something that you love, you can't help but to share it. Thank you.